What's going on everybody? It's your boy Alex and I'm here today to talk to you about how the baby dad is the worst position that you could possibly be in. Everybody says the stepdad is the worst position. Some people say the side dude is the worst position, but the baby dad is the worst position that you can be in and here's why. So I'm just scrolling today and I see a situation. Dude basically says his stepson is staying with his real dad for the weekend or whatever the case may be i guess his dad wanted him to stay an extra day so he called the mom but mom didn't pick up the phone i guess she was sleeping or whatever so he called his stepdad he says hey my dad wants me to stay an extra day is it cool if i can stay an extra day now i didn't even realize this until sam pointed it out to me but the fact that he even asked my dad wants me to stay an extra day means that he probably don't like your ass anyway but that's neither here nor there the stepdad being a regular masculine man says, well, why not? If you're having a good time, you want to stay extra day, you can stay extra day. Now, any sane person would say there should be no problem with this. But a baby dad, who's basically a baby mom, is going to have a problem with this. See, the baby dad got mad, and here's why he got mad, y'all. Y'all wouldn't believe this. He got mad because he said, should no other man be telling me rather than not my kid can spend more time with me. Now, here's the problem. You had half of men who are the real masculine men agreeing with the stepdad that why would this be a problem and then you had your players club dudes your overly sexual dudes your fragilely masculine dudes over there talking about some nah man at the end of the day you gotta put yourself in the other person's shoes you know what I'm saying if it was my kid I wouldn't want no other nigga telling me how much time I should be able to spend with my son or not neither and it turned into a big argument when it shouldn't have been no damn argument listen guys the reason the baby father is the worst position you can be in is because you have no control of your own family. It's bad enough you gave your seed to somebody you knew deep down you didn't plan on marrying, but you didn't even have enough control over this woman you gave your seed with to keep your seed around. The worst thing that can happen to you as a man is you give your seed to a woman and then she take your seed, backpack your seed, travel your seed all around the country, addition a bunch of men to be the stepfather to your seed until one man forms a bond with your damn seed and says okay i'm gonna be the stepdad now your family ain't your family no more your baby mama his baby mama now your son his son now you mad you want to be mad at anybody else <laughs> it's never the man's fault it's not even the woman's fault y'all have this thing in y'all head where y'all think because y'all got a woman pregnant she's just gonna sit there and wait for you to get right or sit there and wait for you to get the rest of your rocks off she's not gonna wait for you she's capable of moving on that's exactly what she's gonna do she's gonna move on so y'all gotta understand that you don't want to never do the wrong your kids you have two options baby father marry your baby mama or get custody of your kids. I repeat, you got two options. Marry your baby mama or get custody of your kids. There is no third option. Every other third option is going to make you look like a bitch. Every other third option is going to make you look like a baby mom because the third option is basically to blow up any relationship she gets in so that way she's forced to give you your kid back. And why would you want to do that? How the hell is that masculine? How the hell is that better? It is, but we know you ain't going to take the second option because if you really had the problem with a man taking, calling, giving orders to your kids or giving direction to your kid, you could literally solve that by just taking them. You would have never been in this situation if you just took them. So we know you're probably not going to pick that option. But I just want to end with this, man. I remember in the 90s, at least, when the single parent boom was taking off, the dads got away. They got the hell away. They did not linger around and worry about who was giving direction to these kids that they ain't taking care of anyway. They didn't linger around and try to blow up any relationship she was in. They just went on with their married life. Whatever the hell it was they doing. I don't know what's up with you new moist boys today who need to be taken care of. Y'all want to come back home when you realize you ain't got no job, you ain't got no skill, you ain't got no purpose. But that's not how it works. Your kid live in my house, he going to follow my rules. 95% of men are going to feel like that. If you don't like that, take your goddamn kid that you put in this woman and move on. It's that damn simple. Anything and everything else is wrong. This is why I say the baby dad is the worst position to be in because ultimately you're going to be the most insecure when someone take your whole entire family away. Marry her, get your kid, or move on. But it's unacceptable to bother the stepfather. I'm Alex, and I'm out. Peace.